Sounds like a good time. Entering burned area, fallen rock and debris, flash flood area. Don't die. <laughs> Sign in here. <laughs> I've been waiting to do a video on maximum ground clearance, otherwise known as effective ground clearance, and I'm going to call it rocker clearance. Rocker clearance is very important because this is where your wheels line up to the obstacle you're trying to get over. It's really freaking strange that automotive journalists don't talk about this clearance. They focus too much on minimum ground clearance, which is measured at the center line at the lowest point, not counting the lower control arms. The rocker clearance on this Subaru Outback Wilderness is two inches more than the minimum clearance. The Honda CRV has 8.2 minimum and 11 at the rocker panel, but the rocker panel is built into the door and it hangs lower than the pinch weld. This is not an ideal setup because it would be very difficult to run true rock sliders. A Subaru Ascent with 8.7 minimum has 9.0 max, only 0.3 inches more at the rocker. The unibody all-wheel drive vehicle with the greatest difference between minimum clearance and rocker clearance is the Honda Ridgeline. 7.6 minimum and 12.5 maximum. Add a three and a half inch tracks to lift kit and 32 inch tires and you get a truck like Ian from Nolo Designs. He now has 12 inches of minimum clearance and 16 inches of rocker clearance. And then we take a body on frame vehicle like a Toyota 4Runner. It has nine and a half inches of minimum and 16 of maximum and this is stock. This is one of the many reasons why a body on frame dedicated off road vehicle will be more ready from the factory for rougher terrain. Rocker clearance will determine how big of an obstacle you could drive over. That's why it's so important. In an all-wheel drive, hitting the metal between your front and rear wheels is going to compromise the structural integrity and safety of your vehicle. I'm pleased to announce that I've partnered with Traxa USA as of October of 2021, and we created rock slider prototypes for the mid-size Hondas. These will eventually become available to other makes and models. So this is uh, just mock together to see how they fit. Um, but the idea is this goes on the OEM mount and then this goes over the seam, nice. and then you can put extra pressure up into the body when you ultimately high side on a rock, because that's what you're going to do. But there you go. The focus is on the actual sliding, not so much the step. But if you were to open this door, you would actually be able to step on it. Get a toe on it. Yeah. Get your tippy toes on it. Right now, I could basically put a nice little, yeah, I could tweak it. that pretty easily. Okay, but dimple die. Dude, I had no idea. I thought that was just for looks. <laughs> oh, I can't bend it. So, and that's, that's a 16 gauge. I could bend this. Yeah. But I can't bend that. Yeah, and the and kind of the more or less the intermediate area around it also strengthen it up. But this is what I'm planning on plating the bottom side of yours with and 
same thing. I mean, that you can't bend by hand. Yeah, no, no. But we got the kickouts for the pads where you'll still be able to pick it up with the lift. And then this is all just kind of mock-up prototype stuff, but we'll end up kind of gusseting up these brackets. There'll be a rib between this, and then there'll be a flat plate. And we'll probably do dimple dies inward so there's still holes, but it'll give some strength in the plate. And, and then, then when you break it, uh, we'll make it better. <laughs> yeah, if I break it. When? When? <laughs> when you break it. All right, Ernting burned area, fallen rock debris, and flash flood. Okay. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty fun trail, but still, like, really, really in my com comfort level. Um, yeah, I would, I would just consider this a level two. I think that's what most uh, four-wheel drive people, at least so far. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That went way up there. All right, let's see if that happens to me. So if you get a wheel in the air like that, um, you definitely don't want to lock up lock up your brake. Oh, yeah, that happened to me too. Yeah, see, this part's fine, sending it, but do the rocky part. Not really so much a good idea to... Uh, I think Ray might need a spot here. <laughs> All right. Fell in just like we expected. Yeah. Back up, Nancy. All sorts of twisted up here. For a road like this, it helps to have extra ground clearance. Greg, the owner of Traxta, and my 2019 Honda Passport have his three and a half inch lift kit. We also have 32 inch tires, which is two and a half inches taller than OEM equipment. Now he fitted his 32 inch tires with something called an axle relocation kit. I trimmed my metal wheel well. <laughs> There's a lot of cliche things that automotive journalists will say. I think every single all-wheel drive review will say, this vehicle is not meant for rock crawling. How many times have you all heard that? I kind of wonder if those automotive journalists actually realize that rock crawling starts at level five on a scale of one to ten so what about levels one to four where does an all-wheel drive vehicle stack up okay left foot braking in effect i have a feeling that those automotive journalists would consider this rock crawling even though it's actually not I don't know if you have any breakover issues here, but Probably this, will. this, this is pretty big. Yeah, it, it's it's steep. Oh. Woohoo! Don't scratch my truck. Yeah, here you go. You good? Okay. You good? Right, you want to take a look under there to see? Yeah, it's better than I would have thought. Okay, so you think you could? Uh, yeah, now go to the right about a foot. And then just go straight up the ladder there. There you go. Go. He's doing it! Pretty great suspension. Isn't that a great lift kit in that thing? Yeah. Who was that sexy man who invented that lift kit? He is so handsome. Okay. There it is. Dash and I just agreed that this thing's got an amazing suspension under it. We're so <laughs> interested in whoever. Yeah, yeah, you did a good job making it. You're at 
uh, one, 188. So it cools down pretty fast. Yeah, we are making hot chocolate. Dash is cozy with his Mr. Heater Buddy. And we're watching some Netflix. Oh, this is actually the reason for my visit to, uh, to get some real rock sliders. Well, you know what, Greg? They, they are. It's good we're seeing this. So you see this bracket? It bent backwards 45 degrees. This part is gnarly. Oh, he hit his bumper. That wheel on the passenger side is way up there. Oh God, four feet, five feet. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Wow. There's another example of rocker clearance coming in handy. I don't really have options. I just got to kind of drive up it. I'm going to straddle the middle. I'm going to center myself as best as possible and just um, let my LSD do its thing. Wow. That's impressive. That's very impressive. <laughs> Badass Honda. Badass. The part being pretty crazy and wow. <laughs> good good job, Honda all wheel drive. That's freaking nuts. Okay. <laughs> Windshield washer low. Alright, so why did Greg get up easier? I think it's because um, longer wheelbase. I'm shorter wheelbase, so I'm gonna have to kind of bump it. There we go. There we go. All right. Greg, so excellent trail. Glad you like it. Yeah. One thing I noticed, Greg, is uh, you know some people out there will say it's a lot of it has to do with tires. Well, those are street tires that didn't get aired down, so. <laughs> you are not aired down, I'm so aired you down. can tell that he's not aired down. I'm, I'm aired down a little bit. I'm aired down a little bit. So you saw what he did. These are highway terrain tires. <laughs> At full pressure. At full pressure highway pressure. I was browsing YouTube and came across this video by North Shore Bronco. His cousin has a Subaru Outback Wilderness. As you can see from this video, the tree stump is hitting his rocker panel maybe three inches taller than his rocker panel. As mentioned earlier, a stock Subaru Outback Wilderness has 11.5 inches of clearance down there. Installing a two inch lift kit and adding two inch taller tires, so going up from 27 inch to 29 inch, will help get past this tree stump, but it's gonna be close, too close for comfort. I would recommend rock sliders. LP Adventure makes a set as well as Rally Tech. Now, because of the partnership with Tracks the USA, we're also bringing real functional rock sliders to the Honda midsize platform. Time won't stop, so gonna get on the ride. Twisting and turning through life. No matter how rough it gets, I'll get by. in every dream I make my own I never
never alone I know that every day will always bring me something new So this next part's gonna be a little riskier, actually a lot riskier. Uh, this is where I would like to have those rock sliders. Let me show you why. All right, see that? Yeah. Quite honestly, not sure how that's gonna go down for me. I'm gonna put my passenger tire right up this line. And it's gonna follow as well up here. Someone really straight right there. I'll show you this gash mark in, it in just a bit. But yeah, that's gonna be my line. And if I had rock sliders, I'm not sure if you're able to hear me from back there, but if I had rock sliders, I'd feel a lot more confident about this. As I mentioned, I would have a lot more confidence if I had rock sliders here. I was getting really close to hitting my subframe. Actually, I was getting close to hitting a lot of things. Approach angle, breakover, and departure, minimum clearance, maximum clearance, it all matters. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. I hope you found it informational and entertaining. My goal is to push out content that you can learn from. My goal is to contribute to the overlanding community. So with that said, please consider subscribing. something new it's back on the table um, just time and work around us is, it let it let us get away from us but John has brought us to the attention that we do need to get this back on um, back on the table as far as prototyping getting it finished 
I would say it was probably about 85% of the way done. There was a couple of different variations. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Go with this. It's um. It's coming. There's progress right there. We've got like cardboard and stuff even. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do have a price increase, unfortunately.